Yeah, boy. Okay, everybody, we're trying some creek fishing for trout. It's the end of April. Water's starting to get a little bit of uh, discoloration here. Not so clear. And that's usually what we look for. Too far. Just a little too far. Oh, that's a rainbow. That's how you pick him out of the creek. Come here, little guy. Sorry, I bounced you off the bank. Should be fine. Oh, that's how that goes. Yeah, boy. That's one way to do it, folks. Beach you right here. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's rainbow. <laughs> Dude. Stop. Okay. Very nice. Thank you, brother. Okay. You ready? You can do it, man. Thank you. Banana. Some of my favorite lures to use for spring stream trout are spinners. These two have done very well over the years. Maps 3 in silver and bronze. Also, it's a really good idea to use some of the commercial uh, trout attractants. It helps seal the deal with followers and second biters. And always, worms on a hook with a small weight is a great idea. I use a larger spinner to catch less of the tiny trout. It keeps me from injuring the small trout and saves a lot of time. It also helps cast a lot farther. Make sure you use swivels anytime you use spinners. It keeps the line twist from getting too crazy. Another major thing to pay attention to is the water clarity. When it hasn't rained in a while, the water becomes super clear and the trout becomes shy and spooky. But once the rain comes, it starts to change the visibility of the water and the trout seem to become more aggressive. I hope this helps. Tight lines and good luck everybody. I'll tell you. I'll get you on the wally there, old man Jeffrey.